What's good everybody, it's Bird Last Beat and I'm back with another tutorial. So here today we are to be facing uh, this issue that you get with the uh, Android emulator. So sometimes it keeps spinning and you can reload it. So yeah, and you try to reload it and it says uh, no device is connected. And then you can come here and try to open it again. And then it keeps saying the same thing. It just keep rotating. It just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning, okay? So to fix that, uh, you could try here, I mean, you could try here and make it go away like this, okay? Make everything that was uh, in the apps go away. That's the first option. And uh, you try to reload it, or if it doesn't work this way, uh, you uh, run it again, then hopefully it's gonna work. In case you don't have access to doing this, you need to open the Android emulator, so the Android Studio, So in my case, it got fixed. Okay, this is how you can fix it. But in case for you, it doesn't it doesn't fix it. Let me show you how you do it. Okay, you open the Android Studio, and once you go there, uh, make sure you close it over here. Otherwise, you won't be able to open it. Okay, so make sure you close it. So once it is closed, okay, you come to the Android Studio, and then you're gonna launch it from here. Okay, because you don't need to wipe. You don't need to wipe anything because usually the method people do is just, just come here and wipe the data. But here, the size is already uh, 12 GB, so there 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 are, there are already some information on the on the on the emulator that you don't want to delete and go through installing them all over all over again. So you just come here, run it, and once you have it running over here, okay. The thing you do is it's going to be the same thing, okay? You come in here, okay? You click on the square and make sure you free everything that was in there, okay? Make everything go away. And if you try and it doesn't work, press the power button, okay? Make sure you press the power button and restart your device. Once it's restarted, you got to check if something is inside. If nothing, if something is inside, make sure you click on that square button and free all of it, okay? Free everything from the RAM. And then run it again and then it's gonna work you don't need to wipe anything if it works for you make sure you hit that like button and i will see you in the next video peace and in case you're trying to press the square button and it's not doing anything like i press it but then nothing happens i'm just pressing nothing happens uh oh okay that was the home button but then when i press the square button then there is nothing nothing up here so that i can free the free the ram so what you can do is just uh go to your task manager okay I have mine over here and then you are going to find the emulator okay it's either a QMU or is ADB so get that QMU or ADB okay if you find each one of them ADB first of all I'm gonna close it okay ADB make sure you close that one okay and the task okay that one is gone and uh, let me try QMU I'm pressing the letter Q, but then nothing up here, so Kimu is not there. But ADB has been closed. Okay, ADB has been closed. And uh, yeah, now I can uh, close it and rerun it. So here I'm going to open my Android now. And uh, just wait a minute. Let me relaunch it. Yep, there you go. It works now. So this is it.